where I'm going is this is what happens. Um, God, when God speaks to me, he allows me to, not just to speak to me, but he allows me to see his word. And so a lot of times I'm seeing shapes, images. And so a lot of times I'm interpreting what God is showing to me. I'm interpreting what, what God is showing to me in this sense. In this case, a lot of times I, uh, God allowed me to see, see conversations, uh, situations, um, episodes, and he teaches me and he allows me to identify and he teaches me uh, a lot of times when I'm meditating, when I'm, when I'm meditating, walking in a trance or whatever, he teaches me various things. And so uh, in this sense, what I want to talk about, there's many people, you're in the valley of decision. You are in the valley of decision. You're in the valley of decision. And in this place where you are, in this place where you are, uh, you want to be sure. And in this place, in this place where you have to make a decision, uh, this thing is pulling on your mind as well as your heart and so um, you don't, you kind of you know what God's word says but you kind of you've been asking God for discern, discernment you see because you say it in your heart and you say it to God God I don't want to be wrong God I don't want to miss it, I don't want to miss it God give me, give me the discernment see because basically when you're asking God for discernment you're basically asking God for wisdom so someone put in the comment, God, give me discernment. Put in the comments, God, give me discernment. I'm going to get to a certain point, too. Give me a discernment. Give me discernment. And discernment is the ability, is wisdom, really, to be able to determine what's of God and what's not of God. And, and many of you, you've been presented with this thing, and it seems like the things that you're fighting, the situation that you're fighting, is the situation, and it finds itself, it goes away, but it comes back. And it comes back, the sky is different. And so, but the message, the word that, that God has, a uh, direct word, prophetic word that God wants me to speak to you and get you to, to observe and to watch for, to watch for. Don't just get caught up into emotions of the thing. But God is saying, uh, inside of the patterns, there's a, there's a behavior. Inside of the patterns, there is a behavior. Inside of the patterns, so a pattern is something that does the same thing over and over again that's a pattern now another pattern okay give me some examples now say for example someone you might have this friend every time this friend call you and every time this friend talk to you or you see them they always talking about somebody that's a pattern all the time or or they always want to um, uh, uh, go spend money or they want to go do stuff that you don't want to do those are patterns those are patterns and so you in a situation where observe the behavior of the patterns because in the behavior of the patterns is who they are. There's an old saying that when people tell you who they are, believe them. In the behavior of people ways, it's who they are. See, because a pattern is something that a way a per is a way a person thinks. It's because we're all creatures of habit. And so but when a person is is uh, 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 doing a certain thing, it's a behavior, it's a mindset, it's who they are. It's what they believe, it's how they feel, it's it's how they process. And so it's a pattern. And so God just wants you to let you know that the way to really understand what's up and, 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 and what kind of tree it is, who they are, and whose they are, God is saying, look at the patterns, look at the patterns, look at the patterns, look at look at the ways, look at how they act, look at how they react, look at all that over a period of time, over a period of time, look at just watch it. It's just like this is like this is like if you're in a conversation with someone, you would come now this person you're in a conversation with, now Every time you talk to this person, every time you talk to this person, at the end of the conversation, they say something negative. That's a pattern. That's a pattern. Or they jug you or they say something to you that's going to hurt you. That's a pattern. That's a behavior. And that's something that's, that's in them that's showing out that means, that, that says that they have an issue with you. So God is saying, observe the patterns, whether it be of God or not, even on your job or if you're thinking about um, getting a certain job or receiving a certain job or uh, applying for a certain job or applying for a certain uh, credit account or getting a home or even if you're trying to discern in a relationship a relationship whether this person is for you or against you listen to me the relationship the bible says you will know a tree by the fruit it bear the bible says there's two type of tree there's a good tree and a corrupt tree the bible says a corrupt tree can only bear corrupt fruit now that corrupt tree cannot buy, buy good, fruit, good fruit. No, it can't. It can only bear bad fruit because the seed 
It's corruption. But now, a good tree, now that's a good seed, can only bear good fruit. There's no middle ground. No, either one way or another. Now, and see, a lot of times, this is what happens. Some of you, if I could talk to you, sometimes you try to rationalize and speak for certain people. You try to speak, well, they just this way. Oh, uh, you try, oh, no, no, they, they're not really that way. They're just acting out. It's, that's not who they are. No, don't speak for them. The patterns, a person patterns, their behavior, that's who they are. It's who they are. It's who they are. It's, it's who they are. And so it's a cycle. It's a cycle. And so, but what I want to say to you is that God wants you to observe. He wants you to observe and watch. Watch. Don't be drawn in. Don't be drawn in by, by, by the swelling words. Don't be drawn in by the theatrics. Don't be drawn in none of that because, see, you need to look at now. See, the enemy, the adversary, he comes to get you. He comes as an angel light. That angel light is to get your attention. That's all he's after, to get your attention. Get your attention. He's going to come. He's going to come. And see, the thing about it, the Bible says, the Bible says when, when a spirit leaves a house, it goes away for a season. But then it will come back, and if it finds that that house is swept and clean, it's going to come back and bring seven more of his boys. And the Bible said the worst state, the, the, the last state is going to be greater than the worst. And so basically, I'm just basically just getting you to think. Just think. Just think if if something keeps beating you upside the head, if a situation keeps hitting you, if you keep def being defeated by a certain thing over and over again, at some point or another, you have to observe the pattern. Observe how, what happened. They're just like if someone plays a game on you, all you got to do is observe the game. See, because if you observe the game they're being played on you, then you're a student. Now you know the game, and so you know each step. You know on, 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 at, at this moment they're going to do this. At this moment, they're going to say this. At this moment, they're going to respond this way. Even, you got some people, you got some people, if you want to talk about patterns, you got some people that when, 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 when you confront them with the truth, when you con 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 confront them with the truth, they will use a cover to deflect your question because uh, they, know, they know that what you're saying is true. So what they will do, and, and you got to know the pattern, is that when someone says something to you, or when you say something to someone uh, uh, from your heart and there's a emotion or there's an anger or there's something that's trying to change the narrative. There's something that's trying to change the conversation. There's something that's trying to get the, the conversation off of you, off of them and back on you. Then that's a pattern and also that's a game. Just think about it. If every time that happens then, that's a pattern. If every time in a conversation, uh, every time in the conversation somebody becomes angry, or every time it comes in somebody cries, to change the narrative, that's a pattern. See, what you need to realize that tears, listen to me, tears and, and crying and all of that, it can take on demonic forms. It can. It can, if it's perpetual, if it's over and over again, eventually it can take on demonic forms. Just like her. When you want you to be hurt, if you keep thinking about that hurt or what he did, what she did, what's going to happen? You're going to become angry. you become bitter. And that hurt itself is going to begin to prophesy. That hurt itself is going to begin to talk to you. The hurt itself is going to be, become, it gonna become the judge, the judge, the jury, and the executioner concerning that situation and concerning that person even before even talking to him. And so this is what, that's why, look at the patterns. Look at the patterns. Even... This one thing. This one thing that I noticed. This one thing that I noticed that Apostle Paul says that Apostle Paul says that he sought God three times to take away this message of the flesh because he was caught up in heaven. But when he came back, he was assigned a message that buffered him, and he thought God. He sought God three times to take it away. But then he realized that I'm going to glory in my infirmities that the power of Christ might rest upon him. And so the pattern that Paul recognizes that when he's under attack. And when he's and, and when he's been buffeted, at that place where he's been attacked, and when he's been uh, buffeted, uh, buffeted, when he's being rejected, when he when people are talking about him, at that place, now look at the pattern. At that place, at that place, that's where the power of Christ Christ will rest upon him. At his weak place, that's the pattern. At the weak place when he's in the trial, when he's being attacked. See, because uh, sometimes when you go, you get attacked, but the attack. When the enemy attack you, then sometimes the enemy will, he'll he'll let off on you for a minute. Then he'll come back, and so see see in that place, it's a pattern. 
And in that place of that's a pattern, that's a pattern where God's power is great. At your weak place, where you uh, in your infirmities, where you need God, where you're desperate. This is where power, this is where God, now that's the word Paul said, I'm going to glory in my weak place. I'm going to glory in my weak that the power of Christ might rest upon me. He knew that. He knew that even though his pain, he knew his pain was his power. Someone put in the comment, my pain is my power. My pain, my pain is my power because my pain is my information. My pain, if I could, if I could, if I could learn how to, if I can learn how to deal with the pain, if I can learn how to bear the pain, if I can deal with it, that pain is going to speak to me. And that pain is going to fuel me. And that pain is, is, my, is my power. That pain, see, because pain is like, pain is like going to the gas station and filling up. Filling up on gas. And so once you fill up on gas, then you're full. And so, see, when you're going through certain things and being buffeted, the Bible said, they count it all joy when you find yourself in diverse temptation. And so, see, because it's all working for the trying of your faith. And so in this place where you're feeling pain, in this place where you would be in buffeting, that place of pain, that place of pain is your is your place of power. See, because what you need to know when you're feeling pain, pain is actually the sign and the indication that the pain is on its way out. And see, so what's happening? See, pain is falling off, and power is being manifested. See, that's what that's what happened. If you can see it, pain is falling off. See, because pain is weakness leaving the body. See, because when you feel pain, then it's identified then that pain is about to leave. You can feel it. And see, when you can feel it, that means God, you, you can identify with it. And see, also in that pain, and in the severity of your pain, and in the massiveness of your pain, is also the massiveness of your anointing, the massiveness of your mandate from God. And so God wants you, God wants you, God wants you to be able to know how to bander, to be able to bear, bear the pressure, to bear the pain. Because in the pressure and in the pain is the power. Is the power and the power is the power, then the power is authority, power is ability, power is know how. And see, in that same power, see, God said that He's given us the power to get wealth, give us the power to get wealth that His kingdom might be established. And see, God has given somebody, God has given many of His people that have a heart for God. And some of you said, some of you said in your heart, and see, because God can trust you, because the Bible said, um, um. Uh, as much as given, much is required, and so the more you elevate it, the more the more is required. And so, there's some of you. It's in your heart. It's in your heart. You say it in your heart. God, bless me to a place. Bless me to a place where I'm able to give back into the ministry. Where I'm able to push the ministry forth. See, because God is raising up an angel of finance where the, the where the church will be financed, where the gospel can be preached. See, because everything we do. Is it runs by money, and so to eliminate, to eliminate that 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 crutch, or to eliminate or eliminate that excuse, God's gonna remove that excuse, and he's he's raising up people, he's raising up people who are not greedy, he's raising up people who are not selfish, he's raising up people who are givers. See, cause helps that that's that's a gift, that's a ministry, giving that's a ministry. See, but God is raising up people who give, who give, who bless. And because they give and they bless, they're going to always be blessed. So that's what's happening. God is raising up men and women of means that they may be able to finance and push for the gospel. See, because they're financing everything. They're financing rock concerts. They're financing rap. They're financing everything else. They're financing everything. They're financing sexual stuff. They're financing all that. Why can't you finance the gospel? You financing clubs. You financing liquor stores. You find us in hotels. You find us in all that. Well, why not find us the gospel to preach uh, uh, about God to bring people to that people might live, that people's lives might be better. And so, <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. But yeah, in your power, in your in your pain, that's where your power is at. Hope you can see it. But that's my word. That's my prophet word. Just observe the patterns. Observe the patterns. Not just, not just, not just in warfare. Not just in warfare, but also in how God moves. In how God's moves. And so that's why God says to watch as believers. We should watch as well as pray. Watching means to just pay attention, to study. Study the behavior. Study the patterns. Study the Bible says study to show yourself approved of God. A workman that needed not to be shamed, ashamed. Rightly, rightly, not wrongly, dividing the world of truth. And so study. And so all you need, all the tools that you need is in the word. Because now God is making us fruit inspectors. You got you to inspect the fruit. 
Don't don't just look at the don't look at the tree. Don't just look at the tree. Don't look at the leaves. And don't just look at the fruit. You gotta expect the fruit. You gotta expect it. You gotta expect it. You gotta look at it. And you know what? It ain't gonna lie. That pattern ain't gonna lie. That lie that lie, that behavior is not gonna lie. And see, they ain't gonna lie. See, because how a person acts and how they respond, it comes from their heart. It comes from their heart. You can't fake that, you can't hustle that, you can't trick that, you can't hook wink that, you can't bamboozle that. It is what it is. And so y'all have a good day. And I hope this word has, this prophet word has you receive this prophet word and has really met you. If you receive this word, someone put in the comment, I receive this word. I receive this word. If you understand, if not, I keep talking. If you don't understand um, uh, what God allowed me to see, I hope I uh, developed it and spoke it um, accordingly. Amen. Amen. And also, um, there's probably about 30%. That's about at least 30% of, 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 of people that follow or watch me that hasn't subscribed. At least 30%. 30% of people who watch me hadn't subscribed. And so, please subscribe. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to subscribe. You might be afraid maybe because maybe somebody don't like me. I don't know who that is, but I know the devil don't like me. So they, they might see that you subscribe. You might, you, they might see that you subscribe to me and maybe you're afraid of that. Don't be afraid of that. But on the right hand side, where it says subscribe, hit that button. Hit that button on the right hand side. And when you hit that button, when you hit that button, every time I come on, the bell going to ring. That bell going to ring, 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 ring. That bell going to dinner time. That, but when that bell ring, that means it's dinner time. It's dinner time, it's dinner time. And the Bible said, and the Bible will taste and see that the Lord is good. It's dinner time, dinner time. And, and the Bible said that man should not live by bread alone, but every word that proceedeth from and out of the mouth of God. Amen. God bless you. Heaven smile on you. Thank you for coming in. And uh, amen. Good, good, good. Amen. I hope I was clear. Just, the just observe behavior. Just observe the behavior. Basically, just the behavior. Watch the behavior. And the Bible said, be not deceived. God is not marked. Be not deceived. Be not deceived, God is not marked. Whatsoever man soweth, it's coming back. That will he also reap. And so some of you that you're worried about what somebody did to you and what somebody said to you and they did you wrong and you wonder when they're going to get theirs and all that. And don't worry about that. You, you just focus on God. Take care of you. Bless them. Tell them I salute you. The Bible tells us to bless them that curse, curse us and, and persecute us. Show love. Tell them I salute you. Tell them I bless you. Tell your enemy I bless you. Tell your enemy I love you. Tell your enemy, I salute you. <laughs> tell them that. Tell them that. Tell them that. Tell them that. One of my old, uh, one of my, uh, uh, one of my uh, spiritual grandfathers, uh, Apostle Quandale Wilson, he would say, uh, tell the devil to salute him, but he'll turn around and, and show him his behind and say, tell, tell the devil, I salute you with my behind. <laughs> so turn around and, and, and tell that devil, I salute you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I thought that was interesting, though. Hey, hey tell him, because he's behind you anyway. Get thee behind me. <laughs> Barack. <laughs> yeah, I know. Get thee behind you. Yeah, he's behind you anyway. He's a defeated foe. And he and he do all that talking. Let him talk. He's behind you. As long as he's behind you, let him talk. Let him talk. Tell him, get behind you. Get behind you. That's the word, ain't it? Pray for him. That's scripture. Yeah, you love him. And so, you know, I, I, many, many of us, and it's a natural thing. We want to get back at him. We want to get back at who got us. Or we want to get him first. Or, or there's some people. That and I, 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 I'm telling something. I'm telling somebody. I'm telling somebody mindset. I'm telling somebody mindset. There's somebody here. There's somebody here that you ha you're under false humility. And so you've told a person. You've told a person that you've forgiven them. You told them that you've forgiven them. See, but what it is? It's a plot, and, and you need to be careful of it. It's a plot. And so what you're doing, you wanna you wanna get this person to feel comfortable. You want this person to just share everything. Then you're gonna dump them. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't don't use false humility because you know what? When you do that, when you're deceptive like that, it's gonna come back on you. It'll come back on you. It might not. It ain't, it ain't gonna come back in that relationship, but in somewhere else, it'll come back and they're gonna do it to you. They're gonna do it to you. Just like I said, be not deceived. God's not mocked. What's a man soft? He gonna also weep. And that's how you treat people. We gotta give an account to how we treat people. You ain't know that. Everything we do toward people is seed. Everything we do to everybody is seed. If we not, if we, if we mean, we evil, we hateful, we vindictive, vindictive. We think that we think that God, that God, that God forgot. And so now, some of you hoping for crop failure. You hoping, ain't gonna be no crop failure. You did it. The Bible said, "What's a man soft? 
Now, he might, he might extend grace. He might extend grace. But it is what it is. It is what it is. And so that means that you have, we have to be accountable for our actions. B before, before you say it, think about it. Before you do it, think about it. And see, some of you, you're the type of person that you always do stuff without thinking. You always do stuff emotion. You always tell somebody a piece of your mind. Then you go back and apologize. After a while, you, you tell them your mind. You say something out of your emotion. You're in your feelings. You say something. Then after you thought about it, then you go, go back and apologize. Well, why not? When you go, get upset, why not think about it? Why not think about the action first? And don't do it. That's breaking the pattern. That's a pattern. That is a pattern. If you're always doing that, that's a pattern. Something's wrong with that. And ask God to deliver you from that. If you're always doing that, ask God to deliver you. Ask God. That's a pattern. <laughs> Amen. Let me go. God bless you. Keep me in your prayers. Patterson.